Hello. Hi. So, so we're back go. now. We're doing my get to know me questions or get to know me tag. Are you ready, Ange? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for my cue. <laughs> okay, so your name, please. My name is Davina. My official government name is <laughs> Davina. Mm, government name. Do you know your government number? <laughs> my, your number. It's on my birth certificate. <laughs> Go on. Any nicknames? D. Anything else? Mummy. Mum. <laughs> Am I joking? D Angel is what I go by. Birthday? I'm an August baby. I'm a Leo baby. And your place of birth? Manchester. St Mary's Hospital in Manchester. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you mean rough? What do you mean rough? Or as most people call it, Gunchester. Gunchester. Every time they say to me, where are you from? I'm like, Manchester. I was born in Manchester. <gasps> from Gunchester. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're from Moss Side. You can't I'm even like... walk through there, innit? There's yeah. just bullets oh, flying God. everywhere. I'm like, they're so stupid. Get with the program. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we digress. Um, occupation. My occupation, I am an events planner. Well, a company director. I own my own business. Doing event planning and event management. So, yeah. Darling. <laughs> Why are you giving me side tie? Come on. Hair colour. My natural hair colour is actually... Alright, don't emphasise. <laughs> don't emphasise because some of us just gone with the old, the old, what is the world's candy key quality? The goat hair. Don't even just moan, right? <laughs> I never said it. But yeah, my actual hair colour, I've got like a reddy brown -y colour. Mm. Yeah, like a chestnut brown. I don't know where I got it from. I don't understand it. Do you know, Kamal's hair used to be that colour. But now it's gone darker as he's got older. It's well, really mine's got lighter as I've got older. It's weird. Mine's got lighter too. It's called grey. Well, <laughs> I've got a few of those. But I'm old I say it's highlights. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hair length. Um, oh, gosh. It depends. My front's about here. And my back is probably, yeah, just past shoulder. Eye colour. Brown, darling, brown. Best feature. I'm gonna say my eyes. My who? My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that's my best feature. I would usually say I would say my eyes because everyone always says my eyes. Okay. Well, um, my, eyes. Uh, my eyes. My eyes. My eyes. Braces. Have you ever worn braces? No, but I am actually going to get myself some braces. Why? Uh, At this day and age. Yeah, why? because I've got a lot of. Um, going into going into it now i've got a lot i've had a lot of fillings in the front teeth and because they some of them are kind of overlapping mm. my dentist was actually saying to me i should have had braces to straighten them out and i wouldn't have had so much problems with um fillings and having to have um fillings in the front teeth and side teeth and stuff and he's like really you should have had fillings to straighten so what they should out. have done is just giving you the braces instead of putting in polyfiller right technically yeah <laughs> <laughs> so because he said to me you know oh they don't do they don't do now they don't give adults braces on NHS. They used to, but they don't do it now. So obviously, if I want it, I have to go with the Invisalign. But I am gonna do it because if it means I can save my teeth for the next how many years without having to have them drilled in, you know, constantly, then I will. Do you know Kamal says he wants braces? To straighten out my teeth, yeah. But Kamal doesn't need braces. He's got perfect teeth. He's because he's saying that his front teeth overlap his, his his top teeth overlap his bottom, but that's most people. It's the way your jaw's set as yeah. well. I do that. Speaks but I, mine is mine is I'm not doing it as most people are. You know, I want that Hollywood smile. I actually do need to. I have got a teeth there. I don't know if you can see it. That overlaps the front tooth, and that's one of the ones I have a lot of problems with. And I do. Oh, have my to get teeth the, whitened. Well, you know, if I can get the Invisalign and get them whitened, I want to do it. Simon, like, well, Simon you know, Cowell, darling. No, I don't want to be like Cut up, white. Up, like, up, yeah, no, oh. no, hell to the no. <laughs> but yes, so I haven't had braces, but I will be getting braces. And what would you um, do? You have piercing. Oh yes, <laughs> I have quite a few. Um, oh gosh, lip, tongue, ears twice. One on the top of that one. I did have my belly button, but that's it. But that's actually they're all. And your nose. Oh yeah, my nose. Oh my god, I'm just full of holes. Do you remember the day when? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, you, I got mine done before you. Oh, yeah. You got yours done yeah. after me. 
I got and mine. And then I ripped it. Yeah. That was not that fun. That was not fun. That was not fun. But I did mine and went to uni because I had a class. <laughs> That's why I was living the life on the edge then, but yeah. And then me, like, full, full, full of fashion. Well. Because I go. And then she ripped it and it was like. <laughs> she was like, did this happen to you? I'm like, no. <laughs> it didn't happen to me. But hey, ho. Um, do you have any tattoos? Oh, yes, I have. One, two, three, four tattoos and i am going to get fifth soon which one's your favorite at the moment probably my guardian angel on my back can you show that to me no we're not showing that we're not doing that we're not <laughs> why, are we, why are we doing this <laughs> are you a right or a lefty i'm a righty through and through through and through who was your first best friend oh my god not the invisible ones no <laughs> Can I not use that one? No, you can't can use the wait, hold on. One. Can I not use Okanon? <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke that me and Angie will not... Angie, no one will know because my son, when he was about... Was he about three? Something like that. He was about yeah. three and he started saying he's got this friend called Okanon. And I just asked him where Okanon come from. He said Africa. And that's where his mum and dad live. Now, a lot of people would think that their child is weird. And I genuinely, at some point, it got to a point where people were like, are you not worried? And I was like, no. Maybe he's seen something that I can't see, but this person, whoever he was I possibly seeing... I had invisible friends when I was a kid. It's not a problem. I don't There's think it's no not problem. a problem with it. And and the thing is, because he because he didn't know anything about Africa, when he said he was from Africa, that's what, stro- that's what worried and me. And not only that, when you are an only child, sometimes you do, because it helps you to express yourself as you would with friends if mm. they were there. If you go and got those friends physically there, you make them up. That's true. But he does, you know, Okanon does make an appearance every every so often, and he's seven. But hey ho, um, my first best friend. Do you know what? It's really hard for me to say best friend because I moved around a lot That's as a young, right. as a young child. So, I don't think who's I... the person who sticks out the most in your life as being one of your first friends? Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I've got to say. I mean, it's only as I've got older I would say I've developed some great friends. So I'd say one of my best friends i wouldn't say we're best friends but one of the best friends i've ever had would be paulette which is also aka the sheet hustle um, that's her youtube ch- youtube name but i'd say she's probably been through we've probably been through the most in terms of we met when we were 16 and she was there through gavin everything so i'd say that would be her in terms of but i've never really not it's really weird i've never really had a best friend and who's your favorite auntie that's not on there. <laughs> Don't try and trick me. That's not on there. <laughs> Tried it. Uh, damn. <laughs> what was your first award? Swimming. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I think swimming. Bad. I think it was swimming. Did you do your length? Yeah, something like that. Got your length. Actually, I got I got my length. I think it was I'm swimming. I'm rubbish at swimming though, but I got my length. I can't even remember what I went up to. Get from one end of the pool to the other without drowning. Yeah, I think it's swimming. I would say swimming, and then if not after that, we did um. It was obviously yeah sports. I'd say it's swimming. I'd have to say swimming. Mm. Yeah, what was not your that what's now. your first sport? First sport. <sighs> Football. Not as like deep into like how Kyron is, but I did love I did love playing football. I wish my mum would have been a bit more. Well, I used to be a pushy. tomboy when I was younger. Yeah. So, yeah. I think most girls, you know, it's the standard. It's the standard norm for girls to kind of play football. But a lot of ki- a lot of parents and like I was speaking to a mum yesterday who didn't doesn't really want her daughter to do football, and I was like, why? If she enjoys it, and you know, she has fun at it. Then why not? It's a sport. She's keeping active. Oh, I wanted to be a girly girl. I was like, yeah, but that's what she a, wants. It's not what. I was like, what's wants. a girly girl? So what? A person who plays football can't be a girly girl. It's just like, mm, it's, you know. But moving on, I'd yeah. say it'd be football. Hmm. Um, what was your first real holiday? Barbados. I come from Barbados. Barbados. Okay. Yeah, I went to Barbados when I was. Barbados. Barbados. Or Barbados. Barbados. Or Barbados. 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 I went Barbados, What man. do the Americans say? Barbados. Barbados. They say it really weird. <laughs> they say so like, funny anyway. Um, oh, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but... No, I love Americans. We love Americans, but... No, no, no. So one thing I've noticed is the, the, the definitely the twang for English and the twang for Americans is completely different. <laughs> the Canadian. He's mobile. <laughs> from mobile. I'm not even going to say who. If you remember that. <laughs> He's 
his mobile shop for mobile. <laughs> um, uh, no. Sorry. Well, yeah, but made us... a, when, how old were you? I was six, and we my mum didn't didn't actually tell me this, but we went out there to live, and um, we was out there for like three months. And then my grandma had a stroke and we had to come back. I was in school and everything, loving it. She never told me that either, so you wouldn't have come back. No, we wouldn't have come back. Oh, that's nice. She, Wait, so she, put, she put me in school. And you know what the wickedest thing about school is? You just get snow cones at break time. Oh, yeah. My old school never gave me snow cones. Well, I, well, I went to school. You could buy snow cones at break time. Well, yeah, what school did I know? You went to one of them church schools. Yeah, I didn't go to church school, but it was good. I went to actually two different schools that day. And I must say, I learned so much being out there. It was a wicked holiday. Wicked. What was your first concert? Uh, first concert was Immature, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. Red name rings a bell. Yeah, Immature. Batman, Romeo, LDB. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember them? Vaguely. On, on the, yes. They're on the peripherals of my this mind. Is, this <laughs> is where now I should just put a little snippet of their song, but yeah, that was my first concert. Okay, what's your favourite? Was it? Sorry. Yeah, it was my first concert, yes. Yeah, what's your favourite film? Favourite film? All my life I had to fight. <laughs> If you know what that that's from, Colour Purple, through and through. I love that movie. Yeah, that's I love the movie. book and I love that movie. Like I could watch that movie. Do you know what though? Sometimes I can't watch things like them. That makes them, you sad. That because even though I watch the help, it gets me angry yeah, yeah, yeah. inside. As well. But do you know that's what I like? Do you know what I really love about the Colour Purple? I mean, if you've read the book, like it wasn't nowhere near what the levels of the book. I will say that oh, much. Okay. The book was and will always be one of my favourite books because. It goes more into depth about how she felt, how her sister... Because although you see her sister leave, mm. you don't know what happens to her sister until she comes back. Whereas in the book, you learn about what she goes through and how she gets to yeah, where she is. that's the problem with films. They have to condense part yeah. of it and they try to stick to the main story, don't they? But i got to say, it was... Uh, I love... Do you know what it was? It was about strength. It was like... That, to me, will always be the, th the reason why it's my favourite book. Because after everything she went through, she still had the strength to get up and be like, do you know what? Enough is enough. Is Yeah, <laughs> we've watched that movie too much. Too much, but I do have. I mean, I could, I could have loads of favorite movies. Medea goes to jail. Can we, right, Man move on. But we're moving on. <laughs> Phil, favorite TV show? Oh my gosh, my wife and kids. Really? Oh, oh no! My, it's got to be a toss up between my wife and kids, Cosby Show, and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Jeez, you need to bring yourself in the twenty first century. <laughs> but do you know what? <laughs> All Look. of those, to be honest, all of those TV programs. I don't had know good though because they do. But you know what? It's like I don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, I loved watching um, Different Strokes and Cosby Show. But if I try to watch them now, it's like oh, I can't watch this anymore. But and I think sometimes, I think sometimes, I don't know about you, but with me, I think I associate those times with certain times of my life. So you don't want to associate with it. I don't think it's I don't want to associate. It just doesn't feel the same. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'd have to say my wife and kids because I, not necessarily the first season. But the rest of the seasons, oh my god! Even now, Kyron watches them and Kyron kills. They're just funny, like yeah. You see, this is why I got my son his own TV because he just made me suffer. Yeah, he loves it. it. He loves that. But yeah, that was one of my favorite TV shows. Although I do like reality TV. And what's your favorite color? Oh my head. favorite color is purple. You yeah. being funny? Color purple? No, you my favorite funny? color is actually purple. Maybe you just keeping that's the thing. No, there's that is the business colors. <laughs> I love purple. I love just I love the different Violet. shades. Violet. Lilac, I love all the shades of purple. There's something about that colour. It's a very regal and royal colour. It's just strong and vibrant. Love it. Moving on. We don't have to agree. No, my hip's killing me. Favourite song? Do up, show up, up. <laughs> what happened to Lauren Hill? <laughs> <laughs> that was not Lauren Hill, No, baby. but that's what you reminded me of. Do you know what? If anyone knows me, everyone knows that I am a huge music fan. The yeah, collection is. is is the collection is ridiculous. Um, oh my god! To pick a favorite song is like what? You got twenty one seconds to go. Oh, to be honest, all right, I put it this way: one of my all time favorite artists is Missy Elliott. Oh yeah. So any track where she's featured, produced, written on would be my favorite. I can't pick a song because I, to me, songs are like. No, Missy, Missy's a good... Missy's, a good, Missy's good, but I think, for me, music has always... Put you, there's different times when you want to listen to a different artist. Like, you know, when you're getting close to your loved one, you might want to listen to a little Tyrese. Yeah? Your loved one when you're snuggling up and you're getting... Oh, yeah, 
don't move it. And then when you want to be in a hype move, you might be going to the gym. You might just want to listen to some funky house. You might want to listen to some garage, old school garage. It's it's hard to say what my favorite ladies, all time song. Ladies, let me song. see you get down low. Ladies, let me see you get down yeah. low. Yeah. I do like that when I'm in the truth. But that's what I mean. So it's hard to pick a Having said that, you know, I've be, still been listening to Cookbook. I love that. that is love fun. that. You one. know the exfoliation? Exfoliation? What the hell is an exfoliation? <laughs> you know, exfoliation for the foot. <laughs> no wrong the hammer toe. The hammer toe. <laughs> that's so funny. I do love that um, album. <laughs> anyway, so where are we? So, what's your favourite restaurant? Wagamama's. Mama's. That's quite nice. I haven't been there for ages, though. Do you, you know what? If I ask Kyren, where would you like to go? You know, most normal seven year olds would pick what McDonald's, is? Burger King. Kyren was like, Mum, can we go Wagamama's or can we go Giraffe? Like, he's got expensive tastes. Well, that's your fault, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, that's all good. As To me, I would rather him eat at somewhere where he can eat something decent than something where he can't. So, yeah, Wagamama's has got to be my favourite. Well, I told you, I told you, I told you. <laughs> What's your favourite shop? My favourite shop, darling, favourite shop. This is hard. I'm just trying to think. I don't really... I'm like you. I don't think I have a... I think I'm like you. I don't have a favourite shop. I think I go into shops... If I find something I like, I buy it. If I don't, I walk out and find somewhere else. Like, not, you can't say now. To be honest, actually, one shop I really do like is Forever 21. Oh, wow. Well, I can't go in there. Why? Some of the stuff in Forever 21 is actually quite nice, you know, Ange. I've been in there. I just, I don't know. Mm. Not for me. But alternative to Forever 21, JD's. JD Sports. Like a trainers. Yeah, they, they, since the beginning of this year, they've seen a lot of me. Yeah. My, my, my drawer that I had my keep fit stuff in is now kind of extended into the drawer below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too many outfits. Mm -hmm. You gotta change, you go twice a day, you gotta have enough stuff to change. I don't want these people to turn up in the same dusty thing they had on the early, the early oh, the day. I tell you what, another store, shop I like, yeah, which is not a clothes shop, is The Range. Mm. And the reason why I love The Range is because I can get all my art supplies there. Anything I want to do creative, I can get from mm. there. But they also have some really nice home stuff. They remind me a little bit like um, Wilkinson's. But they're a little bit not. They're not as expensive as Wilkinson's because Wilkinson started off being cheap. I thought, yeah, yeah it's going to say Wilkinson's meant to be one of the cheaper shops. All of a sudden, it's like its chest got high and it started to think it was something better than it was. And now all of a sudden, it's starting to. Some of the prices are a little bit price. Some of the things in there are a little bit pricey. But I do love the range. I think the range is an underground store. Not many people know in there. But for art stuff, love it. So that would have to be another one. Uh, favorite book. Apart from the color purple. Which is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Love that book. And I'm going to go read it again, actually. I think that will be a book I read over and over again for the rest of my life. Mm, I think it will be a book that you because it no, reminds I'll, you. Yeah, I've got that. But um, the I Am Discourse is a bit like that. But I think with the I Am Discourse, you probably only grab it in your second read. Okay. Because of the way it's written. It takes you a little while to yeah, digest it. Yeah, you have it. to digest the language that they're writing it in. Okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's a good book. Good book. Yeah, he's good. Trust me. If you want to keep you, your positivity on point... He's... Make sure you join the channel. Yeah. We're going to be talking a lot about that. Um, Favourite magazine? I'm not really a big magazine buyer, to be honest. I think they're all pants. <laughs> TV times? Uh, I don't even... I can't even remember the last Radio time I bought... Times. Radio times. Radio times. <laughs> um, I'd say, if I had to buy a magazine, it'd probably be, to be honest... The magazine from Holland and Barrett, health magazine. Oh, jeez. They're always trying to push that on me. I'm like, no. But you know, it's not actually a bad magazine, though, Ange. I, I think people assume that it's going to have a lot of Holland and Barrett stuff, but that sometimes... No, I have, I have had it once. Really good just, articles and stuff. Um, or what's the other one that they do? Is it Zest? Or I have no idea. There's I, a couple I, of fitness magazines. I just buy lots of supplements in there. Um, Sorry. No, but that's... Um, what do you call it? That's from the super... The, news agents that one exists it's like a fitness oh, magazine know, but if not that look i'd say if i have to buy a magazine and i want something to read would be look magazine and favorite shoes dr martin's at the moment dr martin's my dms I'm trying to get a pair of tims hint hint for christmas <laughs> when angela goes to... <laughs> no when angela goes um to america i'm gonna give her the money i want a pair of... into the water to the sea i, I want a wait. pair of um tims 
for Christmas. That's what I'm gonna treat myself to. Well, but I just want shoes that are gonna keep my feet warm. But I'm not really a shoe person. I'm not like you. I don't really buy shoes. I buy shoes. Then why is she looking at me like this? I'm not. A, I'm not a shoeaholic. Yes, I'm not a shoeaholic. No, no. Trainaholic maybe, but not shoeaholic. Actually, I'm coming up fast on your back. Yeah, see, the train, so there you go. <laughs> What are you right when on um, to currently? What are you currently feeling? Oh my gosh. I think I'm a little it should bit. Should be how are you currently feeling? Yeah, how am I currently feeling? I am. I can't complain, but there is a lot going on that, like you, I need some resolutions too, because I am gone past the point of wanting to deal with certain things in my life anymore i'm tired and i just want to move forward and there's a lot of things at the moment that are slightly pulling me back and are changing my thought processes and patterns which is not good right now and it needs to change so yeah i'm feeling a little bit confused i think a bit like you a bit up and down are you single or taken single baby would you like to be taken i would like to be taken but i haven't found a suit suitable suitor <laughs> that, was a, that was a mouthful, but go on. <laughs> and this is what you're currently eating. Well, so. I'm not currently eating anything. What do you currently, what is your favourite thing to eat currently? Currently, favourite, big guy, whatever, you know, which order to put them in. I really love avocado. Do you know, I used to absolutely hate avocados. It used to I make really me feel sick, but now I like having them with a bit of smelt salmon on the side. Oh, I've never and had that. Squeeze some fresh lime on it. It's good. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll try that. Yeah. But I do love, I mean, I'm trying to eat healthy. I really am trying to eat healthy, but... What's the biggest naughtiest thing you've had recently? Croissants. Chocolate croissants. Oh, it's been sticky toffee for a bit. Oh, see, I ain't gone that far. I wish. I Although, tell, tell the truth, Ange. Last week, where did we go? Was it last week or the week before? When we went to... Uh... Oh, ZZ's. ZZ's. <gasps> what, was that? what was that thing we had? The Banoffee, banana thing? Banoffee um, kind of pie. It was actually really nice with chocolate and... It was nice. I never got any banana though, did I? No, well, you I did get banana, you but got you got the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> I didn't. I got the banana. I don't know how that worked, but okay. Um, what are you currently listening to? In the car, I am. Um, all right, so two albums I'm listening to: J Cole and Haley Cassidy, which is a UK artist. Love that album. And in the car, Seven O Two. Seven O Two's last album. Listen, I've been pulling out. I've been pulling out from the collection because ain't nothing decent. And seeing as someone stole my aerial, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you go to my my vlog channel, you will hear about me cussing, but because somebody stole my aerial, so I can't listen to no radio. So it's back to old school CDs. Hmm. Yes. At least it ain't back to tapes, eh? No, but we will be upgrading the car soon, so Do I'll be remember? able to. Plug in my MP3. Did and my did my Ford used to have tape deck? I think most of the cars I back think then. It did, didn't yeah, it? we used to plug in there. Oh, the amount do you of mixes remember? we used to put on them tapes. <laughs> but do you know what we used to do as well when we realised we'd get the adapter. This is how old school was. Get the adapter, plug it in, and plug it into the CD player. Oh yeah. Oh, if you gosh. if your car don't have it, you find a way to get it. Yeah, oh, no. the good old days. Well, like I was saying to you when my, my, my base box would take up most of the boot. Yeah, well. There was no yeah. space for anything Good old days. <laughs> the good old days. What are you currently thinking about? Or is it to do with number one? So it's pretty much to do with number one. It's so moving forward. I have got so many things I'm trying to do and so many things that I really would like resolutions to right now. And sometimes it, I, I have to actually take a break away because my brain mm. becomes overloaded and cloudy. And I don't get anything done that meditation. way. Meditation, you meditating? I'm trying to, but I'm not doing very well so far. I'll be honest with that. I'm really, I'm not. I'm struggling. Mm, I'll just start my back. Um, what are you currently watching? YouTube. I've been, I've been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube, and I've been on um, watching some of the American programs. I've been watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Oh God, not you and all. <laughs> I am my guilty pleasure. Is, is it you who's got my son into that? My no, my guilty pleasure is reality TV. Like, don't get me wrong. If I want an hour of escapism, that's where I go to. He's like, he sits in the front room on his laptop. He's like, oh, mom, no, 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 I'm watching <laughs> Love and Hip Hop. No, I'll do it in a minute. Yeah, you can't just say when a good episode's coming on. Um, what are you currently wearing? Currently wearing a off the sleeve crop top, black top. Off the sleeve? Yeah, well, it's off the shoulder. Sorry, off the shoulder. Off the shoulder. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, vest top underneath that blue jeans and my Nike blazers yeah and is that the end? no jeez lord you're taking a long time girl you need to answer these questions fast okay
You want? Do you want more children? I would. I would. I would like either another child or another two children. And do you want to be married? Most definitely. I need to find that. And what careers suitor. do you have in mind? <sighs> a list, long list. We obviously want to make my business a success. Um, really do want to get more into my painting and my art. And if I'm honest, I careers. It's, do you know what? I think I'd like to try a lot. There's a lot I'd like to try. Radio, presenting. Jeez. Yeah, I've got a long list of things I'd like to do. There's nothing wrong with having dreams and goals. Nothing wrong dreams with that at all. Dreams can come true. Okay. Where would you like? Where do you want to live? Not where I am right now. <laughs> no, and that's being dead serious. I really do want to get out of the flat I'm in right now. I'm not sure, you know. Kyron's really been pushing me the last few months to travel. He really... Mum, can we go here? Mum, can we go here? I would really like to see this country. And I think we're both at that point where we kind of want to see what's out there. Mm. You kind of never know what's good for you or what's where you're supposed to be if you just don't stay. Go anywhere. Yeah. yeah, so for me, I don't know. There's so many places I want to try... Want to you know, venture out to. I can't really answer that where do I want to live because I, as much as I love the UK, I mean, I'm open to living somewhere else. Mm. If it's meant, if it's meant to be, if that's where God is meant to be, to place me, then yeah. Okay. Do you believe in God? Most definitely. Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> I believe in miracles. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Isn't that how the song goes? I don't know. Yeah. Don't know nobody. It's an old song. I don't know that song. I believe in miracles, don't you? Oh yes, I do know that song. Is that the words? Is that what yeah. they say? Yeah. Well, Jeez, I don't know what I was man. listening to. Motel. Then. Wow. Sorry. Go now you're showing your age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd pretty much say I'd be very similar to you in the answer. I don't think that there is such a thing as miracles. There is a quote that I don't know if it, Oprah said it or if she read it from somewhere else. But um, opportunities, what is it? I've got to get the quote right now. There's no luck without the preparation for the opportunity. And I do believe that's partly what, mir not miracles where things happen, is that you have to be prepared to be in that opportunity for th good things to happen to you. Mm. So if you don't, you know, if someone says, oh, I want to do something, or for example, I want to be a TV presenter but I don't do the necessary preparation to allow me to be in that opportunity should it arise to get that, then it's never going to happen. And that's what I believe it. I, that's that's my take on miracles. Don't know. I true that. I true that. I true that. I me that. I who that to say I me that. Do you believe in love at first sight? I'd agree with you. Lust, I don't believe there's such a thing. I think you look at someone and, oh, yeah, oh, hello. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't think it's love. Loved it. I think love is something that, yeah, I saw that face. Love is something that you have to you work and afford fall into. It's not something you see when you first see. Do someone. you believe in ghosts? Don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in spirits. And I do believe, like you, that there are spirits that. Let's be careful what I say, because you know people. Oh, she is so bad. Yeah. Don't you go preaching that stuff on my screen. It's, yeah, it's not that. I do not have the opportunity to turn YouTube off. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I do believe that there, I mean, for me, it's, it's as you get to know the channel, you'll know a bit more about our life. And I had someone very, you know, my boyfriend at the time passed suddenly. And having conversations with other people, it would appear that he visited quite a few of us in, in our dreams. But he spoke very much of this being somewhere else where he could see everyone and, you know, he could travel like at the speed of light. So for me, I believe that there are not ghosts, but I do believe there's spirits and I do believe that they may go to different parallel universes or dimensions, whatever you want to call them. And I do believe that there are some spirits that unfortunately, like you said, they, they, they're either stuck and haven't quite gone to where they're, what universe or dimension or whatever they're supposed to go to. Um, and that's been my take on it. But hey, that's my belief. Don't have to believe me. Yeah. Do you believe in aliens? I believe, like you said, there's there is um, life forces on other planets, and people are gonna think that we're really crackers when we say that. But do you really believe out of the thirteen or is it fourteen planets of the solar system that there is no other life out there apart from the life that is on Earth? Mm. Oh. Mm. 
Okay. Mm, think about that. Think about that. Like, Just if, think about it. If you can survive on Earth, why could we not supply, survive on any other planet? Like, please. Do you believe in soulmates? I believe that. Do you believe in heaven? That's a very hard one. I believe there is, like you said, a, a feeling of heaven. But then, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a really hard question because then you're kind of almost like saying you don't believe in what the Bible teaches and, you know, and yeah, it's, it's a, but it's let, a let, fine... Let, let's remember, it's been, the Bible is a very flawed re book. Yes. And it's also not meant Ooh, to be taken... Oh, we're going to get some... We're going to get some... It's like, also, in my humble opinion, not meant to be taken literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, unfortunately, that's... And that's what I'm saying. Them documentaries I was watching yesterday are very interesting. interesting. Very interesting how people change things up to suit. Oh themselves. yeah, I would, I would, I would. I mean, people fail to realize, and you know, people don't do the do the the investigations, and they, like you said, they take everything that is written in the Bible and they forget that Christianity was created to control the masses. And up to this day, religion is still controlling. And it the still masses. controls the masses. Now we get deep, y'all. Now we get deep. It is. But as somebody said the other day, if there was no religion. Would we have so many wars? No, we wouldn't. Because every war has been based on what? Religion and oil. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to edit that out. Uh, anyway, okay, do you believe in hell? I believe there's a lot of hell right now where we live in. I believe that we are creating, man is creating its own hell. I, I would believe that. Um, you know, where in, in the world do we feel it's right to kill other people based on the fact that they don't believe what we believe? It is very much right now a hell that we're living in. Do you believe in Do you believe in kissing on the first day? Have we said that one? No, we didn't. No. Have you ever had a man do that? Like, he's really nice looking, and then when you. <laughs> I'd run around the other way. I had a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend. No, he wasn't a boyfriend actually. Yeah, telling like it was like I getting to know. Him. Mm -hmm. And he was quite good looking in that, but boy, he couldn't kiss. I thought my whole face was gonna come off. <laughs> Jeez, weird. It's like when I was finished, it was just like. Oh. <laughs> we're that, not yeah, going that had there. to go. Anyway, so kiss on the first date. <laughs> Depends. I, I mean, I'm not. Mm, I don't think you know about someone that much. I don't like being that. I don't mind a peck. I don't mind a peck to say goodnight, but we're not going tongues and all that. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. And last but not least, do you believe in yourself? I am my own worst enemy. I would admit to that. I think that's most of us, really. Yeah. I, I would say I for the last five years, I have struggled with my um, believing in myself. It just le led to a very long period of self low self-esteem which i am still working to you know it's not been um the greatest of feelings but yeah you know being in situations where people make you feel that you're not as good or you know you're less of a person has severely dented my confidence so for me believing in myself sometimes i'm like can i do that am i able to do that should i be doing that am i gonna fa i think fear is you know of failure is my biggest and I think this is why it's taken so long to start my business. I think mm. I've not, I've not truly, you know, everyone says, oh, you've done so well and that was really good, D, you know, did the event for mum and, oh, that was so good, you did such a good job and I still doubted myself after all mm. that, knowing that I did that all by myself without any help from anybody else and I still questioned myself. But like I said, you have to surround yourself with good people who push you to be the best person that God intended you to be and I say that every day to myself because if you don't surround yourself with those people you end and you surround yourself with people who are very negative about who you are as a person it has such a damaging effect on your life and can take away a chunk of your life and take away a chunk of who you are as a person so for me I have made it my and I think this is why we're all feeling a little bit well I'm feeling a little bit mm. I have made a decision to part with certain people with certain energies that have not been great around me so I do believe in myself but probably not as much as 70% like you not, I'm, not, I'm not at that stage yet but that's going to be a learning process. That's Every day is a little bit better than the last day. But, yeah. Every day gets a little easier. Okay, and she just keeps busting. Why do, we, why do we keep busting out into I songs? Don't know. I don't know. Can't help yourself. Anyway, so that's our introduction. It's been a bloody long one. Yeah, but it has. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and we hope you're having a lovely Sunday, whatever you're doing. Well, we are going to eat my, my husband's what's it? This chicken, chicken satay, chicken and peanut satay sauce. Cause See, so, you say satay. He's so he's so happy that he made it from. Scratch. He's saying satay. I'm like, no, it's not satay. It's satay. Yeah, he also says as when he says means as. So you know, let's just just leave it at that. He even types it. I black out. Yeah, I know what he means. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we're gonna catch up with you, hopefully, um, in the next. When do you start your training? I had my first two sessions with Neil Livmore. He's cool. He's so, a cool guy. So when I'm, do you we're gonna have an interview with him soon. When do you officially um, start? What start prepping or training? I'm training, training now. When I'm prepping, will be from January. I'm just getting to so grips with, with his the training. training. So what we're going to do is we're going to obviously start this channel off and then there's going to be some more content which is going to involve Angela's fitness. And I won't look like this, I'll be no, all she'll, sweaty she'll and look horrible. like that. But I'll we... be like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do that and we're also going to start with some of the, you know, the life, I'd say coaching. Yeah, The spiritual side of stuff. This is going to be very much a channel that's based on lifestyle. And, when and we, we say, welcome your feedback yeah. and your input, yeah. positive input, please. We know there are going to be some people who are going to have to put nasty Can't help yourself. That's just Can't help yourself. But, you know, we're just here doing what we do, being us. And spreading that love because the world needs a lot more love. It needs a lot All more. All you need is love. <laughs> we're going to keep doing this every time I say something. Every time I say the title, title. title. I'm just going to break out this song. What is this? But as I was saying, we are um, going to be about spreading love and just being honest about what we feel is going on in the world or what we see to be going on in the world. It's our opinions. Don't take it so seriously. If you disagree, you disagree. Everybody's entitled to disagree. And on that note, we are going to go because our bellies are saying it's dinner time. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed Sunday. Bye. Peace out.